matching works. Matching works. Like this, for example. As many perceptions they exist, as many uh, as many artists, it's people in perception, it's people in a it's person in opinion. <laughs> In the art school of uh, Thessaloniki, there is a teacher. I know this. I know this from a friend of mine who was in his workshop. And the first thing he said to his students in the first year when they went to the art workshop was, "Don't start putting chairs on the walls." It means you know, like, because there are actual works. So some are things about art. Yeah, I can do what I want. Yes, what sells? Impress. You know, you should impress people. So I can do anything I want. I can say something, but uh, first I can do something to impress, and then I can find what to say. So you can say uh, a chair on the wall is something not usual. You know, the chairs you see everywhere is one of the first things you probably will notice in every workspace. So, you know, the slogan of the teacher was don't put chairs on the wall on the first day because... It's quite crappy and actually needs to know if you cannot fool many people. You could fool some people. Some people became very famous in this way, but... The first one you fool is yourself. You need more than a lifetime to understand, comprehend art, especially modern art. It's much more easier, much easier with uh, traditional forms, landscapes, uh, religious art. Uh, religious art was something less complicated than today's advertisement. It was like nothing. You just see it and propaganda, actually propaganda. We're using painting, which is the medium of choice. Of it. Ages. I didn't know what exactly, I've heard the word, but I didn't know what was kitsch back then. I started reading about what it actually is, because everybody knows the word. After I got admitted to the Athens School of Fine Arts, yeah, it's useful to know about these things, it's useful to know about art history, about thoughts of uh, critics, art theory from, uh, from Plato, Kant, it's more than useful actually. But uh, in reality, you really have to think what is, you know, best is a very strange word. It gets stranger every time technology gets more advanced in our lives. Our concept, our, yeah, our whole concept about who we are, and what's happening between us and around us. The word best and worst just just changes like the, the, the biggest chameleon of words. Still, the thing is that you have to have a critical judgment. Just what is the best you could say? And not you should, because even if you shouldn't, for some some criteria you still should say no matter how disturbing or economically unsatisfying it may be what is the best you can do for the for other people for this planet it's much more important for everything that happens around you um, and I believe in nature not humans the first priority do your best is to be very careful to judge with what with what your in what to focus your energy 